Princess Rhaenys Targaryen. She was a Targaryen princess. The queen who never was. The crown was yours. I but never wore the crown. Until those fools at the Great Council plucked it from your head. They denied you, Princess Rhaenys. The realm will not accept her. Because the realm would not have it so. And I would remedy that small-minded error. Eris Targaryen. The Iron Throne was yours by blood and by temperament. Here is the hard truth. You should have been queen. By all rights, you should be queen of the Seven Kingdoms. <sighs> no one else has the heart to tell you. Myself, I've put the business behind me. Callers. The queen who never was. The queen who never was. Men would sooner put the realm to the torch. Rhaenys, a woman, would not inherit the Iron Throne. And see a woman ascend the Iron Throne. I little thought to hear those words from you. Because that is the order of things. It was before there was a true-born prince named Aegon Targaryen. <laughs> Rhaenyra's succession will be challenged. The king will die. And when that boy comes of age and your father has passed, the men of the realm will expect him to be heir. Not you. And if Rhaenyra succeeds him, war will follow. Do you understand? Knives <laughs> will come out. I gave up the idea of wearing a crown a generation ago. It is you, Lord Husband, who refuses to abandon this pursuit, even now at the cost of our children. And I must stand alone. Our house controls the realm's navy and half its dragons. Cyrus is dead. And you are usurping the throne. It was my husband's dying wish. <gasps> Egon has been crowned as his successor. House Valarian has long allied itself with the Princess Rhaenyra, and what has it gained you? Demanded, you declare for Egon. She did. You abandoned me. Your daughter dead. Your son cuckolded. Rhaenyra's heirs are none of yours. Mayhaps the gods have scorned us. Both our children stolen from us. I needed you. Have you never imagined yourself? on the Iron Throne. For our insatiable pride. The Lord of my house is not fickle. I refused her. If a queen murdered my brother and stole his throne and you could burn me. A war is like to be fought over this treachery to be sure. Girl is holding the realm together at the present. Every man standing round the painted table urges her to plunge the realm into war. That war is not mine to begin. Our houses are bound by common blood and common cause. This high tower treason cannot stand. The Greens are coming for you, Rhaenyra. And for your children. You have the full support of our fleet and house. Soon they will not even remember what it was that began the war in the first place. this brief mortal life, if not the pursuit of legacy. Legacy may be why you live your life, Corlys. I too have felt the crown pass over me. It is a hard thing to accept. That is easy enough. They usurped my throne. That is one answer. Yeah. Or was it when the child was beheaded? Or when Aemond killed Luke? Or when Luke took Aemond's eye? Those boys will not be safe so long as Aegon is king. But she seeks the same as each of us at this table. Aegon's line would be extinguished. An end to this conflict. And that war is now inevitable. To support the war that your vassals have been fighting in your absence. And he marches on Rook's rest. Your cause owns a power that has not been seen in this world since the days of old Valyria. Dragons. To send a dragon. We will not let the queen falter. You must send me your grace. I know who he is, Corlys. Vivi Vaz Mutali in the Elvis. He saved his lord's life. He should be raised up and honored, not hidden beneath the tide. I will meet Cole. And Luke would be alive. Luther Rook's rest of her own will, in defense of her kin. There is no war so hateful to the gods as a war between kin. Melis is your largest dragon and no stranger to battle. And the desire to kill and burn takes hold of the horrors I have just lost cannot be for a crown alone. 
Any louder than ours, Princess. The Queen did not name you Hammond. And no war so bloody as a war between dragons. It is ill luck to look upon the face of death. And if there is no time, true Queen counts the cost to her people. We are at war, Corlys. And God's nearly. May end, I want to die a dragon rider's death. I won't leave my lease. Something was before you. It is well that I am a good sailor. She was fierce. And love and in anger. The stranger has visited me more times than I can count, Grand Master. The fastest beast ever known, and she had none of him. <laughs> but bent her neck to me. I assure you, he cares a little whether my eyes are open or closed. Melis is my favorite cousin, I thought. Princess Rollins. She died as she would have wished to die. With honor. In Dragonfire. The way my mother chose. And the way I myself wish to meet my end. 